Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Today, we are talking Rihanna Super Bowl halftime performance. And it was iconic for a lot of reasons, you guys. And let's just get it out of the way. Yes, yeah, she's pregnant with a second child. It has been confirmed by her reps to Rolling Stone, to TMZ, to all of your publications. So, yes, indeed, Rihanna is several months pregnant. I will talk more on that later. Um, because there were several changes to the set list, you guys. And that's what I want to get into first is the set list. Because you're not going to get this anywhere else. Because while people are reporting on the set list, they are not reporting on all of the interludes that took place, you guys. Right? So I am going to first start off with that. And then we are going to get into actually, you know, what took place with the Super Bowl halftime performance. Okay? Um, so first off, there was a brief interlude at the beginning of Rihanna's song, What's My Name? with Drake. Then she went into Bleep Better Have My Money. She went into Where Have You Been? Only Girl in the World. And then While We Found Love, towards the end, you could hear S&M playing in the background and then a slight interlude as well. Then there was Rude Boy with an interlude in between of Kiss It Better. Then Rihanna went into Work. She went into Wild Thoughts. She went into Pour It Up. Then there was like a pose performance slash interlude as well also performed all of the lights run this town umbrella and diamonds you guys um so that was that uh so overall i was satisfied with rihanna's performance because of the simple fact that i've seen rihanna in concert multiple times you guys so i know what to expect from a rihanna performance right and obviously, due to the set list, Rihanna has said, Rihanna said that there was like 37 versions of the set list, and her manager, Jay Brown, said there was like 57 versions of the set list. And Rihanna had mentioned in interviews previously that there was going to be Caribbean elements to the show. And I think, honestly, what happened when she first was announced to do the Super Bowl, when she first got the call, her first child was three months old, you guys. First child was three months old. I think somewhere along rehearsals, Rihanna unexpectedly got pregnant a second time. And I think that was when they had to rework the set list, you guys, because there was supposed to be a big Caribbean portion where a lot more of Rihanna's Caribbean music was supposed to be infused into the set list, you guys. And I think you could tell that a lot of the choreograph moves and things of that nature were basically used to kind of accommodate Rihanna's pregnancy, you guys. But even with that being said, overall, I still think it was a great Super Bowl. The problem is Rihanna has too many hits, you guys, which is not a bad thing, right? For those of you who are expecting to hear certain songs, when you have 14 number one hits, you guys, and only 13 minutes to do a Super Bowl performance, there's only so much you can do. Something is going to get left out, unfortunately, you guys. That is just how it goes. That is the lay of the land, you guys. But I love the theme of the performance. I loved how intergalactic it was. I loved how the dancers really catered around Rihanna. I loved how, you know, really we got to see Rihanna in her element. She looked great. She looked happy. I mean, even with her being pregnant with a second child, she still lost the bulk of her baby weight from the first child. So she still looked fantastic as far as I'm concerned. She looked beautiful out there. She looked like she was having a good time. And you have to keep in mind, those of you who are trying to drag Rihanna, those of you who are trying to compare Rihanna against other singers and other performers and this and that, you have to keep in mind a couple of things, you guys. Number one, Rihanna has not performed on a stage in, what, seven years? Like an actual stage for a tour, right? We're not even talking 2018 at the Grammys. We're talking like an actual like stadium, like in arenas, that sort of thing in front of hundreds of thousands of people, you guys. So for that, I'm not going to go in on Rihanna. And I am not certainly going to drag somebody who looks to be a few months pregnant trying to navigate a, you know, 17 years of work 14 number one hits, several albums. You know, you're the second selling, um, best selling female vocalist of all time behind Madonna. I'm not going to drag Rihanna, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. There were areas of improvement, but I think some of it was due to her being pregnant, you guys. Where there's some moments where she may have seemed like she might have been tired or she might have been out of breath or that sort of thing. I did find iconic where Rihanna stopped to touch up her face with Venti Beauty, you guys. That was iconic, and that is something we're never going to see again in a Super Bowl. 
right? To touch up your own makeup brand, you guys. Like, make it make sense. Nobody's ever going to do that. And secondly, and furthermore, nobody is going to ever perform pregnant, you guys. I don't think there's ever been an artist that has performed at the Super Bowl pregnant, you guys. There have been artists who have performed at award shows pregnant, but nobody's performed at the Super Bowl pregnant, you guys. And I thought vocally, I thought Rihanna sounded great. Um, I thought probably the best numbers was probably Diamonds and Umbrella. And I think all the lights around this town, I really felt like at the end, it really kind of, you know, kind of brought everything home and this and that. But some of you and some of you know who you are that are trying to compare other artists who have performed pregnant. Those of you who are trying to be hypercritical of Rihanna and your frave is not the second selling best selling female artist of all time please please keep please keep it quiet please keep it quiet because you're you're literally going to shame a pregnant woman a pregnant woman who probably shouldn't have even agreed to do this super bowl um in hindsight 2020 but probably once she found out she was pregnant again couldn't back out at that point in time so therefore you know this it is what it was right it is what it was right um, but with that being said, for what, I, for what it was worth, I was satisfied with what Rihanna did, you guys. I was satisfied with what Rihanna did. Once I realized she was pregnant, I already knew what it was. I was just happy to hear the hits. I was happy that Bleep Better Have My Money and Pour It Up made the Super Bowl, you guys. That is unheard of. I think Christina Aguilera said, um, Be Better Have My Money is one of her favorite songs by Rihanna and I think one of the photo ops was like oh you think she's gonna get away with that at the Super Bowl and <laughs> and I think Christina was like come on now but I but it's Rihanna so Rihanna's gonna do what Rihanna's gonna do right but she has so many hits you guys she has so many hits and and, and that's the whole thing so that is why you know it was going to be some songs that were going to be left out you guys there was going to be some songs that were going to be left out there were going to be some songs unfortunately she was not going to be able to do full on but nonetheless i'm happy with what we got i am happy with what we got and now that we have all of the nuances that she was pregnant that there was a million changes to this set list and everything else i still like the vibe i still like the intergalacticness of it she's still going to give you fashion she's still going to incorporate you know her makeup and her and everything else she's going to incorporate all of her elements you guys and so so i'm here for it all i am here for all of it you guys so there is that so let me know what you guys think what did you guys think of the super bowl did you guys enjoy the super bowl uh what did you think of the performance were there songs that you felt were left off were there songs that you wanted to hear please let me know what you guys think in the comments Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post some content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.